back to Wonder Buff Stocks. I'm Alison and this is Floss. Yesterday Floss and I showed you how to get your dog to turn in a little circle and spin on the spot. So yesterday we turned to the right and today I'm going to just repeat the exercise briefly to show you how to get your dog to turn to the left and also to troubleshoot one or two things that you might have found haven't worked quite according to your plan. So there's one or two things we're going to look at um, as we work through today and see if we can improve our technique and get the dog to work more efficiently. So once again I've got floss and I've got a pocket full of lovely treats, liver cake, mm, thank you very much, and kibble which floss is quite happy to work for because she doesn't get very often so it's a nice treat for her to have. As you can see the spaniel in her comes out when food is available. So we're going to work today just to repeat our little turn to the right. So we had food in our hand and lured the dog in a circle to the right. So I have one piece of food in the, my right hand and I lure her around saying right and then I reward with food. Again, a piece of food in hand and reward with the food. This time I haven't got food in my right hand but she doesn't know. So I'm going to still lure her around and then feed her from the left hand. So that's a stage that sometimes people tend to miss out and that's when the dog realises there's actually no food to be had in the hand it's following and refuses to go round. So I like to put in a pretend food. So here in this hand is a piece of food. I'm going to say right and turn her round. I'm not going to give her that one. So she learns to expect food from the other hand. Right. And then feed from this hand. She still hasn't had a piece of kibble that was in this hand. Now I'm going to swap it. Right. There's nothing in there now, but she's getting better. Right. At working for the treat in my other hand. Okay, so this time we're going to have a little look at turning to the left. So I'm going to swap, <laughs> good girl. So <laughs> I'm going to swap my treats into the other hand and get her to turn to the left. So again, lure her around saying left. Left, lovely. And then work that through again with having a treat in that hand but not rewarding her out of the hand, but rewarding her out of your full hand. And then we're going to look at how things can be improved if they go wrong. So sometimes what will happen is when you try and get your dog to do this treat, the dog just sits down. Generally that's because your reward is too high in your hand. So if your reward is high up, you'll see what happens, it pulls the dog up. If you just pull the dog's head up, sit down. So if you pull the dog's head up, generally their bum goes down and they go into a sit. By bringing your hand forward a little bit lower so it's on the dog's nose when the dog is at standing height, you'll find your dog will find it easier to manoeuvre um, rather than sit down. The other thing that I like to do if my dog does go into a sit is just step backwards and encourage the dog to come with me a little bit because that means the dog is then standing and is ready to shift their weight forward in order to do the manoeuvre. So don't be worried if your dog backs away from you and does a sit, just drag them back to you, bring your hand nice and low with the food in it and then let them follow the food round. Lovely. Good. So when you're really good at that you can think about progressing the trick a little bit. And the way I progress the trick would be to think about starting position. So rather than always have the dog in front of me, maybe I want the dog to start from the side and lure her round. Good. And then again with an empty hand and then reward. So I'd like to do that from both sides. So if I put my dog on this side, I'm going to turn her oops, <laughs> that way. Good girl, yeah, lovely. And then reward again. So um, by making things happen on both sides, it keeps your dog working evenly, making sure they're not just good at working on one side. Clearly Floss is better on my right than my left, so that's a good girl, so that's something I need to work on. Um, so what we're aiming for by the end of this really is for the dog to be able to work from different positions. So we're going to just have a look at a few different positions now to see how we can change the start and how we can get her to progress the trick a little bit. So if I for a down, lovely and then left good girl so Floss can do it from a down or good girl from a sit good and right lovely good so what I'm aiming for is to make my hand signal smaller and smaller until such time as it's unnecessary so I would just start with right nice so she's so used to following oh, dropping one so used to following my hand because I've lured her around lots of times. Left, good, lovely. Um, I can start to make my hand signal less obvious to the dog. Right, nice, right, good, right, nice. So that time I didn't use the hand signal at all, just used my head um, and she worked very nicely to the right. So you can do it to the left, good girl. Left, 
Good girl. Down. Left. Good. Well done. Good girl, Floss. Let's have a little break. There's your toy. Good girl. Go find that. Good girlie. Nice. Good girl. Lovely. Well done, Floss.